So let me divide the current roles of an RPA developer according to their experience. Then we will try to understand how to prepare a better structured resume as well as which is aligned to your pro uh, project roles as well as your career path. There can be multiple roles of an RPA developer. So for an RPA developer, we can have a fresher or intern or junior developer. Okay. The next role comes as a developer. Next role is senior developer and next role is lead. So it can be RPA lead or RPA support lead. Okay. And the next one is maybe you can take senior RPA lead. Okay. Next one comes solution architect and the next one comes a program manager. Along with this, there are other, so all these are technical roles. There are also something called as RPA functional roles. So one of it is business analyst, not specifically for a RPA, RPA structure, but we will have a separate scrum master who will try to manage and try to lead the development or the scrum. So these are the major roles that we normally see in any kind of RPA, RPA developer zone or RPA zone. Okay. Now here, something that you must understand and that you must think is a person who is starting their career with zero years of experience can be treated as a fresher or intern. Someone which who is having around six months to one year can be taken as a developer and more than one year or two years one uh, nearly two years taken as senior developer again a lead is some kind of a role it will not be given only based on your experience but also based on your capability in understanding and learning about people management skills and understanding how people will work even though you have eight to ten years of experience it doesn't mean that you will definitely be given a lead role you will be senior developer role that's the reason i mentioned greater than two years anything greater than two years if you are working, then you will be treated as senior developer role. So here, RPA support lead, you are intended to, you are expected to work at least three years of RPA development and knows people management. Okay. So major role is trying to understand your team and trying to get work done with them and trying to communicate, being an effective speaker or effective communicator. Okay. So senior RPA lead uh, is again, if you are already a lead for at least two years, you can tre treat as one greater than one year. Okay. Now solution architect role is a bit different. You need to understand infrastructure of RPA. You need to understand uh, what are the available resources for development. You should be able to do uh, program planning or solution planning, designing. In some cases, you may create some frameworks. Okay. So whereas a program manager is more towards customer focused role, creating new businesses, or you can also tell creating new opportunities or bring in new opportunities for all the above members like developer so if there is a project there will be a program manager and identify issues in the team so this is not a code issue that i'm talking about it's about people management more so if you see only a developer role will be more of a development part if you go or growth in your career you will be managing people more so understand communication skills as well as interpersonal skills and soft skills are important as you grow in your career it's not only about the development of the code okay now along with this a business analyst um, understand the requirements uh, create meetings uh, with clients SME is for uh, subject matter expert creation of documentation so here major documentation that he will create is step document and the second one is pdd which is process definition document or process design document okay so this is the major role and also so remember a business analyst main role is majorly to communicate effectively to the customers regarding either the solution or problem whatever team is facing his role will be to communicate effectively with customers because customers are the ones who are paying us it doesn't uh it doesn't seem to be good if some a developer who is not able to speak properly to to make him interact with the customers or clients directly so a business analyst role comes majorly with the requirement gathering and understanding the process and he is like a bridge between our development community as well as the uh, business team, a developer team as a business team. Now, Scrum Master role is again a bit different. He is more focused on effective implementation 
of the current process are the find identify roadblocks and validating user requests or uh, you can also tell managing a team or planning for team planning for team maybe you can tell is the current team enough for the work that is anticipated to be done and if not how many members do we need and are they anyone who are taking on leaves and if they are taking on leaves if they are taking leaves then will the work be affected so all these activities other than a ba role as as well as a so you can treat a scrum master as you were person uh, who is conducting meetings regularly for you and all the members who are in the call they will be able to communicate with the scrum master and scrum master need to maintain what's happening in the team so that is a major role so right now this meeting we will be working majorly on the development as well as business roles on how to write an effective resume on these roles not with the scrum master role i'm not a very good person to uh, tell about scrum master role so let's go with this so when you are working as a developer with 1 to 2 years or 3 years or greater than 2 years what do you think is expected to be in your resume can you please add that in the chat let me just see that got it now other than that uh, there is one important activity that you must complete or you must do ahead of going to your interview one such thing is completing certifications and certifications not from anywhere else majorly we are focused on ui path academy okay remember that people are looking for certifications from ui path academy but not from anywhere else like okay you have completed some certification from udemy or coursera if there is certification that's completed the others who are seeing your certification must also know what is there in that certification because there can be just a right line or a log line and there will be a 30 minute script for it and if you have completed it and if you are telling that i have completed developer certification that doesn't make any sense so there should be some standard on what you are completing for your certifications so so let's go with ui path academy okay and so what i will do is for each and every role that we have what certifications do we need to complete okay so remember that if you are growing in your career path or if you are going as a lead it definitely meant that you need to complete the previous certifications along with this certification okay you cannot directly go and say that i am a solution architect so i will do only solution architect certification that doesn't bring or that doesn't make any um, help for you rather than that you need to complete all the previous certifications then you need to go with solution architect certification okay there are, there are learning plans that we have don't go with citizen developer if you are planning for a developer role citizen development is for someone like a business users who are trying to learn rpa not for you and rpa developer fast track so this is for the people who are for a developer role so this is if you are going for interviews then prepare with this and go okay now for a fresher you can check with rpa starter and then once rpa starter is completed go in this sequence only don't just mismatch or jumble the sequence rpa developer and then you can go with rpa starter and then go with rpa developer yeah rpa developer foundation you need to think about two things rpa developer foundation as well as rpa developer foundation if you are joining in new then this will be enough like if you are keeping an experience of 1 to 2 years then this will be enough this is for fresher and solution architect role is for solution architects so as i have said you need to have an understanding or certifications of all the above Uh, certifications along with this if you complete only solution architect certification that doesn't bring any value okay this is rpa solution architect certification next now along with this there is something called as this is rpa continuous learning i would suggest this to be completed by all the developers and leads this contains about a services what are the new implementations that you have all these details so this should be done by a lead at least a senior developer okay next and who else do we need to add for program manager again uh, there is no need to learn all these things a program manager works on a different level so program manager role should be on the implementation part so he must complete business foundation rp analyst role he need to understand what is 
the enriched role for program manager and how the activities will work and as well as automation explorer if we have a knowledge on the about activities that's fine but i would not recommend a program manager to be doing all these things he goes on a different role now business analyst role again is a bit different from the above roles so you need to complete these two rp business analyst and explorer along with that you also need to learn okay implementation manager so this implementation manager is for both uh, i think program manager it will help us here okay and citizen developer is not required starter is not required so in if you are a tester there are also testing roles that are available you can treat tester on par with the developer roles so if you are a tester and if you want to go to rpa then these two roles will help you or these two certifications will help you hey amazing viewers hope you are loving our content if you haven't subscribed it hit that subscribe button right now